Hey yo, it's the bass man, Robert. Bass man, Washington man. So feel so good to be back here. My old, old neighborhood of South Park, Sunnyside, and um, found a cool soul food restaurant. And it's right here in the middle of my old neighborhood. It's called Nanny's Front Porch. I'm just re rolling down Cullen, right over here to our left. Now I'm to Genoa, man. Um, found this cool soul food spot. I'm about to go in and check it out. Well, we are here at Nanny's Front Porch. We about to go in and see what's up. I heard a lot about it. I think it's gonna be pretty good. Let's go see. Hey, it's Robert Baseman, Washington for Robert's Restaurant Review. Here on Magic 102.1. And I'm here with Miss Etta from Nanny's Front Porch here in my old neighborhood at Sunnyside, South Park. And um, so tell us, now your name is Etta, but where does the nanny come from? My mom, my mom. Oh, okay. Uh, my mom was just lovingly called Nanny. Okay. And so I've kind of taken over that role oh, in man. my family and with, with people that I love. It's the story behind it. So tell me about moms. I know she probably wanted to start that cooking thing going right, on. Right, right. Uh, when I was young, we lived in Beaumont. Okay. I was raised in Beaumont, and we lived three doors down from my church. And uh, people would come, masses, probably 20, 25 people would come mm -hmm. every Sunday okay. and sit on my mother's front porch and eat, and they called her nanny. Okay. I don't know how she did it. Uh, she fed them for free. Oh, really? Yeah. So that's that's prime example, you know, give and ye shall receive. Mm -hmm. Good measures. Press, Press down. down. Shaking Shake together. Run, Run it over. over. Hey! Yeah. Give a shout up in here, Nanny. <laughs> we Nanny shush house after a while. <laughs> now, where did you come in with, with the cooking? I never cooked. Okay. My mother uh, was older. What she did was she like instilled it in me. Mm -hmm. She'd say, just come and watch. And my mother was, I was 22 when my mother passed. Okay. But, you know, everything that I remember that she showed me, I can do. What What is cooking for you? It's a gift. Okay. It's a gift. And so it's nothing, and, and I guess that's why they call it soul food, because it's from the soul. You really can't say, okay, you need a teaspoon of that or a tablespoon of that. It's just, you know, you just, until it feels right. I don't have a recipe for anything. Okay. It's from my head. Okay, cool. All right, well, here we go. So um, let's get into some good food. Can we do that? Yeah, you ready to eat? I am okay. so okay. ready to eat. Hope you enjoy. Ooh, look at oh, this right wow. here. Mm -hmm. So um, explain to me what we have up in here. Okay, what you have is smothered pork chop mm -hmm. and okra, stewed okra with sausage. Mm. And by the way, we don't cook anything with pork. Everything is either smoked turkey or mm -hmm. beef. Okay. Our chicken, but we don't cook our vegetables with pork. And that, that lets you know that you can have um, healthy soul food. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because mm -hmm, it's good for the soul. We choose to say southern food. Ah. Yeah. Mmm. A little okra. Mm-hmm. What you think? Oh, this is good. Tell me about this sausage. It's a. Uh, Some good beef sausage, huh? Good beef sausage. Okay. It give you quality. No. Excuse me for chewing, y'all. <laughs> this is so good. I can't stop. Now, what can you tell me about some of your cooking? And I know one thing about soul food. We ain't giving out our recipes or giving away too much of what, what, what we're doing. But what are some of the things that makes your food just so extra special that you do? Well, we use fresh meat every okay. day. We don't freeze any of our meat. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we don't give you uh, leftover. I cook for here okay. as I'm cooking for home. Mm. This pork chop right here. This right here. <laughs> this right here. <laughs> Get a little thick gravy on it too. Stick to your ribs. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. No, let me tell you. Match this. Was it something that you set out to do to start cooking, or were you forcing to start cooking, or you know, I, did an event type of event happen to make you start cooking, or what? In '98, I was laid off. And, and we'll do it. Mm -hmm. And we'll do it. 
And so uh, I'd been cooking like my mom for free. Okay. So I said, okay, well, let me put this gift to work. So I started catering. So I, I catered from 99 from my house. I would cater for up to three, 400 people out of my house. Oh, man. So God blessed me in June to be able to open this restaurant. And it's amazing when a lot of times people think um, – like an event being laid off is a bad thing, but you see it in all God's plan. Cause you know what? I too was laid off from a job. And if I wouldn't laid off from a job, I never would have gotten to radio and to broadcasting. And so, you know, you see something like this is all in God's plan. So tell me about this um, dressing. Cornbread dressing. Woo! Uh, understand dressing, not stuffing. No, it's cornbread dressing. <laughs> yes, yeah, what I'm talking about. Oh, I can tell. Tell you me about this. Do you need some cranberry sauce? You don't need anything, huh? Mm -mm. No jibber gravy, nothing. Mm. It's chicken in it. Mm -hmm. It's moist. Quality. Now, you know, one thing about it, you can't have good southern food without some good old cornbread. Cornbread. And I'm sorry, yeah, I, I, oh my God. And this is cornbread that's old. Ooh, and it's so moist. And look right off like off the cornbread um, box. <laughs> it does. It's like, I'm serious. Tell me about this cornbread. Made with honey. <laughs> Made for real. Mm -hmm. Honey and butter. Really? For real. Y'all, you have to make it down here to Nanny's. Nanny's Front Porch. Um, and I really like it that you name it Nanny Front Porch because you it came from, you know, the story behind this sitting in front of um, on Mom's porch. I heard about this. This red velvet. Now... Was this something mom did or something yes. you started? Really? Yes. Everybody knew about her red velvet. Yes. All of her cakes. Mm -hmm. All of her desserts. Oh, my goodness. Mm -hmm. So she was popular at the church then. At the church, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The 3 o'clock program, they call it, hey, Miss Nanny, we're going to need you to do one of these cakes. Yeah, so we can hide it. Yeah. Under the cake. <laughs> so, man, tell me a little something about this, this cake that here. red man. velvet cake is thebomb.com. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Melt in your mouth. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh man you know how you eat something you can't begin to describe it but I'm the type of person where I eat and I'm kind of like I'm trying to taste what's in it mm -mm. all I can taste is just some goodness well I got my food here that I'm coming back for uh, can we take a walk back to see where all the magic happens magic you get that magic one over here that's kind of cool yeah sure. pun intended Let's go take a walk back in. Oh my goodness, man. Like a big factory back here. And I can tell that's just real work back there. How you doing? Are you, you doing? good? What's your name? So tell me what you got going on back here. Um, right now I'm doing some gravy for this mother's pork chops. Okay. Uh, we have some greens and some rice on the stove and okay. everything else I cooked earlier. Woo! So what? What? Like what time? Everything starts and is kicking out here. Four thirty, five in the morning. Good lord! How you like working, doing things back here? I love it. I have uh -huh. fun. We listen to matter of fact, we listen one or two all day. We, we sing and uh -huh. we harmonize and cook at the same time. Uh, one thing about uh, that attracted my wife to me. It's seeing men in the kitchen. What's up, bro? <laughs> What's going on? I'm serious. What I say? She, she loves men. What's your name, man? I'm Howard. Howard. So, Howard, what you do back here, man? I'm the kitchen manager. You the kitchen? You the kit? He's the kitchen manager. <laughs> what does the kitchen manager do? Well, well basically, we manage your pants. She's doing the cooking. I'm just make sure we have everything we need to have going out. Make sure our food's hot. Uh -huh. Make sure it's fresh. Make sure our product comes in every day. And just make sure our customers are happy and smiling. Even you know, that's that's real important. Now, next to having, you know, just good food, good food is great. But when you get good great food, service. but you, you got, you have good food major. and bad service. It's, yeah. That's major here. But when you get, what, have, have great service great go along service with the good food? Oh, yeah, man, that's, that's a must. Right. Yeah, Customs yeah. Have to be happy at any company. I just feel like, you know, I'm in the kitchen. I got to do just a little work, man. So, yeah. um, Why don't you fry that piece of fish? Fry that piece of fish. Mm -hmm. So I just take that and you drop it down in there. Yeah. What? I now can say that I, I've been a part oh, of yes. Nanny's front porch. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Look at that golden brown. I feel like I need, I need to holler out something. Right, we got fish ready back here, y'all. We got fish ready. All right, we're ready. It's coming. Yeah, yeah, there we go. From one of my good friends here, Eden, Mr. Ronald Matera. So, um, 
I see you found out the best place to come eat and get some good old soul food, huh? I did. <laughs> so what's one of your favorite sphere, man? Right, what I mean, turkey wings. Yeah. Okay. The place as a whole, what you think about it, man? I think it's wonderful. Okay. Good atmosphere. They treat you like they know you. It's a little homely place. Yeah. Hey, so what makes this food just so good, though, man? So food. My grandmama used to cook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm just, it's not as good as that. Okay. I see, um, it's like the turkey wings, one of the most popular things here, man. Why, why, why you guys with the turkey up? You don't get it often when it's not around the holidays. So when you have a chance to get it off holiday time, that's what you get. These are great. Time. So what you guys think about the restaurant as a whole? Oh, love it. Come back here all the time. Yeah, we're down the street eating here quite often. Food's very good. Don't forget the desserts now. Oh, yeah. Ah, so what's your favorite, what favorite, favorite desserts? I don't know. See, she cost me to gain weight. I was a little down when I started coming out. <laughs> 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 Woo! Hey, it's the Bass Man, Robert Bass Man, Washington for Robert's Restaurant Review. And I got my to-go, my food, got my uh, tea. And I'm telling you, Nanny's Front Porch is definitely a place to be, man. Some good old Southern food. And um, hey, if you got a restaurant you would like for me to review, hit me up. You can email me at IEatHouston at Gmail. Again, IEatHouston at Gmail. And um, maybe I'll come to a spot that you suggest. But until then, leaving Nanny's front porch. And uh, woo, feeling good and full. <laughs> Robert Bass Man Washington, People Station Magic 102.1. So